Hi, this is Dan. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install your fonts on your computer um, using Fontbook, the uh, the native application that comes um, by default with your Mac computers. And um, in previous videos, we talked about how to manually install fonts um, simply by adding them to the appropriate folder. Um, Fontbook gives you a little more uh, uh, flexibility and some tools at your fingertips to um, organize your fonts, um, to validate your fonts, uh, create collections, disable them temporarily, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up Fontbook. If you don't have it uh, in your toolbar, open already. Go to Applications, click on Fontbook. In your top left, you're going to see these collections. These collections essentially mirror your font library folders. In previous videos, I've shown you how to uh, actually manipulate your uh, personal collections with the Finder, um, opening up your font library and deleting fonts or adding fonts as you want to. Um, these collections mirror those libraries. So, computer is your font library folder for your entire computer. User is just for you. By default it's going to add it to the user collection which is correct. Um, so we need we need some fonts to add to this so um, we're going to uh, jump on over to FontSpring and we're going to grab a font called Charisma this is a pretty cool new font. Jason at Castle Type just added uh, the Charisma Gothic collection and I've already downloaded this um, so we're gonna add this to our collection. As you can see I have my user collection which has some of my favorite fonts in it. Fontbook has some very powerful tools allowing you to create collections and organize your fonts you can create a folder of fonts that are web safe, you can create a folder, a collection of fonts that uh, you have web licenses for, um, different projects, you could say this is for um, client A, and I can only use the fonts for them, um, that type of thing. So I have a font spring collection, so I make sure I turn this off if I'm doing any personal designing or anything like that and adding fonts to the collection is as easy as dragging them in and dropping them. Uh, Fontbook is going to validate your fonts, add them to the collection, and as you can see they'll also by default be added to your um, to your user library. So as an example we uh, will jump on over here to our to our fonts library and you can see that they've been added there. If I come back, we say remove. There you can see that Fontbook is doing all the work for you and then we can add them again and you'll see them popping back up over here. You can also add these fonts to your computer's uh, font library this would be available for everybody that uses your computer, all different users. And then you can still add them to collections and things like that. We'll say it. Uh, there you go. So there you have it. That's how to install your fonts using Fontbook. Let's run through this one more time. Locate your fonts that you've downloaded and drag them right into the folder where you want to use them. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Remember, not all font licenses are created equal. Don't buy your licenses elsewhere and regret it later. Buy your font licenses from FontSpring with confidence.